Alba Longa was an ancient city of Latium in central Italy, 19 km southeast of Rome, in the Alborn Hills. Founder and head of the Latin League, it was destroyed by Rome around the middle of the 7th century BC. In legend, Romulus and Remus, founders of Rome, had come from the royal dynasty of Alba Longa, which in Virgil's Aeneid had been the bloodline of Aeneas, a son of Venus. Archaeology Livy said of Alba Longa that it was founded by Ascanius to relieve crowding at Lavinium. He placed it at the foot of the Alban mountain said that it took its name from being extended along a ridge. Dionysius of Halicarnassus repeated the story, but added that Ascanius, following an oracle given to his father, collected other Latin populations as well. Noting that Alba means white, he translated the name Long White Town. Dionysius placed the town between the Alban Mount and the Alban Lake thus beginning a long controversy about its location. Since the 16th century, the site has been at various times identified with that of the convent of S. Paolo at Palazzo near Albano, Costa Casal near Marino, and Castel Gandolfo. The last named of these places in fact occupies the site of Domitian's villa which ancient sources state, in turn occupied the arcs of Alba. Archaeological data show the existence of a string of villages in the Iron Age, each with its own necropolis. Along the southwestern shore of Lake Albano, at the time of being destroyed by Rome, these villages must have still been in a pre-urban phase, beginning to group around a center which may well have been Castel Gandolfo, whose significantly larger necropolis suggests a larger town. In the later Republican period the territory of Alba was settled once again with many residential villas which are mentioned in ancient literature and of which remains are extant. Legendary History Founding myth according to Roman legend, after the fall of Troy in 1184 BC, Aeneas led a group of surviving Trojans through the Mediterranean to Sicily, Carthage, and eventually landed in Italy. Upon landing in Italy he was welcomed by Latinus, king of the early Latins. Soon, Aeneas married King Latinus a daughter, Lavinia, and would found the city Lavinium in her name. Latinus later fell in war making Aeneas king and his son, Ascanius, his successor. A few years later Aeneas was killed in battle like Latinus, and Ascanius became king of Alba Longa. Ascanius reportedly built Alba Longa at the slope of Mount Alba with 600 families as a colony of Lavinium. The city was founded 30 years after Lavinium his descendants would rule the Latins for another 500 years. Laton League Alba Longa was the leading city of the roughly 30 cities that made up the Latin League. The league's conferences were held by the Frontine Spring, in the scenic part of the valley between Albano and Marino, Italy. The sacrifices of the League were offered on the Alban mountain from which all the country of Latium might be seen. After the rise of its colony, Rome, Alba Longa appeared as Rome's rival and was destroyed in the mid-7th century BC by Rome. The colonies of Alba Longa were distinct from the Alban townships which must have consisted of Albani plebs, as the genuine Albans were the populace. Among the Alban colonies some become part of the plebs. Others become Latin cities. The others were ceded to the Latins to maintain a consistent 30 townships. 30 being of great importance among the Latin kingdoms as 12 was to the Ionians. Accordingly, the Latin kingdom of Latinus and the Rutilian kingdom of Turnus must have had 30 cities each with Laurentum as the Latin capital prior to the arrival of Aeneas. War with Rome in the 7th century BC Some Roman and Alban peasants had plundered each other's lands. Ambassadors were dispatched by each side to demand restitution. With the pretext now in place war was thereafter declared, first by the warlike Roman king Talus Hostilius, and soon after by the Alban king Gaius Cluilius. Livy describes the war as being akin to a civil war, because the Romans were said to be descended from the Albans. Cluilius marched with his army into Roman territory, established camp, and constructed a giant trench surrounding Rome, which became known as the Cluilian Trench. 
Cluilius, however, died in the camp of unspecified causes and the Albans then appointed Metius Fufius dictator. Tullus emerged from Rome with his army, passed the Alban camp at night and marched into Alban territory. Metius followed, camped nearby the Roman army, and then sent a representative to invite Tullus to confer before any engagement. Tullus accepted the invitation, however both sides were drawn up for battle whilst the leaders met between the two forces. At the conference, Metius proposed that the dispute be resolved by some means other than mass bloodshed, citing the concern that the nearby Etruscans would fall upon the two Latin states if weakened by war and unable to defend themselves. It was agreed that a set of triplets from each side, three brothers Horatii and three Curiaci, would battle for the victory of the two states. Livy refers to conflict amongst his own sources as to which set of brothers represented which state, but prefers the view that the Horatii were the Romans and the Curiaci Albans. Vows were entered into in a most solemn form by each of the Romans in the Albans as to this agreement by which the future of each state would be bound by the outcome of the fight. Marcus Valerius was appointed Feschal, and Spurius Fusus Pater Patratus, for the purposes of binding Rome by the treaty. The battle was fought. Two of the Romans were the first to fall. Then the remaining Roman, Publius Horatius, slew the three Albans, and thus won victory for Rome. After the dispute was thus determined, Tullus ordered Metius to return with his army to Alba but to keep the Alban youths ready in case war with Veri should break out. The Albans became, in substance, a vassal state of Rome. Not long afterwards, war did indeed break out with Veri and also with the Fidonates. Metius and the Albans were ordered to march to battle with Tullus and the Romans, and they met the Etruscans on the far side of the Anaya, on the banks of the Tiber. However, when the battle commenced, Metius led his troops away from the battle, leaving the Romans to fight the Etruscans alone. Rome was victorious against the Etruscans. After the battle Tullus executed Metius for his perfidy. Then, on Tullus' orders, the Roman soldiers demolished the 400-year-old city of Alba Longa, leaving only the temples standing, and the entire population of Alba Longa was transported to Rome, thereby doubling the number of Roman citizens. Tullus enlisted the leading families of Alba amongst the patricians, namely the Julii, Servilii, Quinci, Gegani, Curiaci and Cloeli. Tullus built a new Senate house, the Curia Hostilia, to house the enlarged Roman Senate. He also recruited ten new terma of equites from amongst the Albans, and new legions. The Alban immigrants lived on the Callian Hill in Rome. Religious Institutions Temple of Vesta The Temple of Vesta which stood at the foot of the Palatine Hill outside of Rome must have been built long before Rome, because it stood outside Rome. At the time of its founding, Rome only occupied the top of the hill. Therefore, the hearth of Vesta which was ordinarily found at the center of any city would not have been built outside Rome's walls. Worship for Vesta in Italy began in Lavinium, the mother city of Alba Longa and the first Trojan settlement. From Lavinium worship of Vesta was transferred to Alba Longa. Upon entering higher office, Roman magistrates would go to Lavinium to offer sacrifice to Vesta and the household gods the Romans called Panates. The Panates were Trojan gods first introduced to Italy by Aeneas. Among these household gods must have been Vesta who has been referred to as Vesta Iliaca, with her sacred hearth being named Elasi Foci. The priestesses of Vesta, known as Vestal Virgins, administered her temple and watched the eternal fire. Their existence in Alba Longa is connected with the early Roman traditions, for Silvia the mother of Romulus was a priestess. They were finally established in Rome during the reign of Numa, where they would remain until the institution is disestablished with the rise of Christianity during the late Roman Empire. The shrine of Jupiter Laceus on the top of the Monte Cavour was a very ancient shrine consecrated to Jupiter Laceus. Flora states that the site was selected by Ascanius, 
who, having founded Alba, invited all the Latins to celebrate sacrifices there to Jupiter, a custom which eventually led to the annual celebration there of the Ferii Latini, at which all the cities that belonged to the Latin Confederation would gather under the aegis of Alba, sacrificing a white bull, the flesh of which was distributed among all the participants. After Alba Longa was destroyed and her leadership role was assumed by Rome, tradition records the building of a full-scale temple to Jupiter Laetius on the Alban Mount in the reign of Tarquinius Superbus, of which only a few courses of perimeter wall remain today, now removed off-site, and substantial remains of the paved road that connected it to the Via Appia near Arisha. Bibliography Ashby, Thomas Alba Longa, The Journal of Philology 27, 37 to 50. Perret, Daniel, Legoise, Encyclopédie Classique. Pouvent servir aux candidats her el examen du baccalauréat et lettres, p. 67 to 70. At Google Books.